Okay, we're recording. Hello, thank you for joining me today here on Behind the Scenes. My name is Donette Douglas. I am the general manager of WTJR Channel 16 here in Quincy, Illinois. This program, Behind the Scenes, that you're watching right now, we record right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Amen and amen. Well, I'm getting excited because we are looking forward to CTN our 17th anniversary. Yes, it'll be 17 years that we have been a part of the CTN family. And in fact, we're gonna have a special show we're putting together for Behind the Scenes that will air the weekend of June the 2nd. And uh, we'll talk more about that during the program and then next week again. But we're just excited that we have been able to continue every day 24 hours a day to broadcast the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only to the tri-state area of Quincy, Illinois, Hannibal, Missouri, and Keokuk, Iowa, but to the world. And we're so thankful for that because we know that the word of God will change a person's life for eternity. Amen? Amen. Okay, let's get to our slideshow and pictures from last week in the studio. Uh, this is from Praise 16 last Friday. And Robert Axton, Pastor Robert Axton, I should say, from the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. You've seen him co-host many times on Praise 16 with Gary Wallace, who is the regular host. And uh, But Gary uh, was not here that day, took a day off, and that's okay. He has other ministry work that he is doing um, with his wife. And so he asked his wife, Sandy, to come be with him. And I really enjoyed their prayers and their conversation and all the scriptures they share. They, they love to be in the Word and share the Word. And so uh, we want to thank Sandy for coming uh, kind of last minute and filling in and being on Pray 16 with her husband. And uh, it was a good program. I've heard many, many comments, uh, uh, feedback, I should say, about the program, how they, they really encourage people. And of course, we lifted up a lot of prayers and we believe that God hears prayer and he answers prayer and he shows us great and mighty things. So uh, we are a praying family here at WTJR and CTN. And then we had worship music, and this was from a Revive America program that Jeff and April Davis uh, recorded here at the station uh, a few months ago. And uh, so we, uh, because they traveled the country, in fact, they've been down in Florida for the winter months. We haven't seen them for about a year, but uh, we are glad that we have these wonderful uh, recordings to share. And they always take us to worship. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. See that beautiful CTN sign? I just love that sign. Just think that is so wonderful that we get to have that to show our viewers. Amen, amen. Okay, well, I, last week I was talking about a gift offer uh, that we have right now. It's through July the 2nd, CTN. Uh, and it's Pray the Promises. And uh, this book will help you pray for your children and uh, for a gift of $50 or more to the ministry through July 2nd. You can receive this book. If you want more information, go to ctnonline.com. You can also um, find how to get it there also. Donations for the new tube. $15,610. I want to thank each and every one of you that are donating. And uh, we 
if you would like to make a donation for the new tube, just write on your check that is for the new tube and we'll get it in that account. And we just, like I said, I just say thank you for everybody that supports and uh, helps us when we have these special projects. Amen. WTJR is your locally supported Christian television station. We have five channels here at WTJR. We are a nonprofit, so all of your donations are tax deductible. And we have a great variety of program for all ages. And I think you can see right there, and I've talked about the different channels many times, but we're just thankful. We're just thankful for what God allows us to uh, put on the air and, and send out yeah, the gospel. Yeah, send out the gospel, whether it's music, a testimony, or preaching for children or up through the saints. God has allowed us to have great programming here at WTJR. And I want to remind you that any of the local programs we produce here at WTJR, you can go to our WTJR YouTube page and watch them. Maybe you're at work during the time they normally air, or you missed uh, some of the programs. And, and a lot of our hosts will do series of programs. So you can go back to the YouTube page for WTJR, and you can watch those programs. And we just sent out the June 2023 newsletter today. And if you would like to receive that, get on our mailing list. Uh, just contact us, the information on the screen. You can receive our email, uh, I should say our newsletter, either by mail or email. Yes, we can email the newsletter to you. And uh, we would love to do that and uh, get your name on the list. Amen. Download the CTN app. You can put that on your iPhone, your Android, or your tablet on Roku or Apple TV app. And then you'll have all 24 of the affiliate stations for CTN, of which WTJR is one of them. And you can take us with you. So you can always have good Christian programming with you, even if you go uh, travel to another state or, or town or et cetera. Uh, they don't have any Christian music, radio stations and TV stations, and it happens because it's happened to me, then you can watch on your CTN app. Friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV, and you can watch live programming like Pray 16 and Revive America. You can see community calendar events. You can see information about our local programming. You can uh, see some updates, videos, and spots that Jim Wilson, our engineer, puts on from time to time. And I will share a word from God's Word with you sometimes. So check out our Facebook page and friend us. We'd like to invite you to come on Mondays at 1 p.m. We have prayer in the studio. We're located at 222 North 6th Street on the second floor. You will have to ring the doorbell and we do have an elevator. But we'd love to have you come and pray with us for one hour and stand in faith. Uh, we know that Jesus said, my house shall be a house of prayer. And so prayer is very important to the Lord. So it should be important to us, right? Amen. Amen. If you need prayer, give us a call here, 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the answering machine, please leave your name and phone number. You'd like prayer and we will get back with you. Praise 16, that is our live call-in prayer program on Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. We are also live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. We do repeat the program on Monday evenings at 9 p.m. And even though it's a repeat, we do have a phone operator. So there's a, the phone number right there where you can call or you can email praise 16 at WTJR.org. This, and I forgot to tell you that Pastor Terry Mayer will be here on Friday, the 26th of May. Yes, I forgot to read that off the screen. Amen. I got ahead of myself, didn't I? Terry always comes on the fourth Friday of each month. And for the live prayer program from CTN, they have a three-hour program, You and Me, Monday through Friday. You can watch it here on WTJR at 1130 p.m.
They have an 800 phone number that you can call for prayer, 1-800-716-7729. And for soul winning training, if you're interested in that, give us a call here and we'll be glad to pray with you and encourage you to share Jesus with people around you. Uh, we use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening and our theme scripture comes from Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. <clears throat> Addiction Free in Christ. We've been airing the Addiction Seminar Spring 2023. The theme was dealing with the crisis destroying our nation, the cause and the cure. And this will be the last week we'll air it. That will be on Monday, May 22nd at 10 p.m., Tuesday, May 23rd at 4.30 p.m., and Friday, May 26th at 6 p.m. At 6 a.m., I'm sorry, 6 o'clock a.m. on Friday, May 26th. And then I want to let you know, on Praise 16, we're going to have a special. Now, prayer is always special. But we're going to set aside a day and do things just a little different here on the program. First of all, we're going to have live worship in the studio with Jeff and April Davis. And then we will be praying, and we've called this a healing service, for spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, and relationships to be healed. And that's live on Friday, the uh, 2nd, June 2nd. And, of course, the hosts will be Pastors Gary and Paula Wallace. It's 11 a.m. to 12 noon live. And right here in the studio, if you want to join us, you can come here. We would love to pray with you for healing. And you can be a part of the audience. And then you can also watch us live on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. So mark that down. We would love to have you come and uh, be a part of the prayer team that day. And if you need prayer, uh, we will pray with you. But just be here at the studio by 1045 a.m. June the 2nd. Mark it down. Amen. Hometown Happenings. And this is a section of the behind the scenes where we talk about events going on in the area. And we like to get the information out to you. That's our DNA map there, the yellow area. We reach out 60 to 70 miles out around Quincy over the air on the local cable and on DISH Channel 32. You can also web stream our programming on WTJR.org. You can watch us on the CTN app. Oh yes, don't forget that. And this is what we want to let you know about today. First of all, I want to um, encourage you to uh, get some items and put in the mini pantry. And here's a map there. There's 21 locations around the city of Quincy. And you can find a box, they're wooden boxes, and uh, you can put items in there, like uh, food items, staples, uh, that people need in their um, pantries at home, food to eat. And uh, let's reach out and help those in need. And uh, I know uh, there's a box uh, over on State Street that we put in several times. And I go by it pretty regular. And it seems like it's almost empty every time I go by. Just a few things in it. So there is a need out there. So if you can, drop by and put a few items into one of those mini pantries. Also in concert at Webster Church, 2631 East uh, County Road 1850 in Carthage, Illinois, will be the Wanda Mountain Boys. And they are, uh, they uh, said on the flyer, they are the best of Southern gospel. And that's on Saturday, May 27th at 6 p.m. And if you want more information, call 217-654-2231. Another uh, concert will be at Peaksville Christian Church, 17370 County Road 81 in Revere, Missouri, on Sunday, May 28th at 2 p.m. And that's Kentucky Just Us. This is bluegrass and gospel music. So there you can go and uh, be blessed uh, by music telling you about the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
And then the Tent Crusade in West Quincy coming up very soon. 7 p.m. nightly starting Tuesday, May 30th, going through Saturday, June the 4th. And I think that Saturday, that should say Sunday, June 4th. I'm sorry. I'll have to change that. It goes through June the 4th, which is on Sunday. Uh, Jeff and April Davis will be there with the worship. Evangelist Robert Newton and his wife Stephanie are sponsoring it. And, of course, uh, Robert Newton will be preaching several nights. Uh, on Saturday afternoon, they'll have some training with Dr. Ron Brees. Uh, it's in the afternoon on Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, Saturday evening, uh, Pastor Kenny Geisendorfer will be bringing a message. And on um, Friday evening, uh, we will have a message from Pastor and um, Angela Gatsway, and she's from Kansas City, Missouri. This is all at the old drive-in theater grounds, Highway 24, West Quincy, Missouri. So if you have an event coming up, we will put the information on Hometown Happenings on Behind the Scenes, WTGR Community Calendar, Channel 16.1, and on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. Send your information for your church and our outreach ministry events two weeks ahead of time to WTJR 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. There's our phone number, and also you can email tv16 at wtjr.org. Amen, amen, amen. A lot of events coming up here in the area, and also them, uh, we have Memorial Weekend coming up, so it'll be a busy time, won't it? A lot of kids getting graduating and, and schools getting out for the summer and just uh, really a busy time. Ball game starting, and uh, we just can keep very busy, can't we? But the main thing is we keep the Lord first at all times, right? Amen, amen. Okay, our bridge today, I'm going to uh, show you a video about the Praying Promises book that we have as an offer, a gift offer right now for a $50 donation through July 2nd. And then we got a video, or a spot really we call it, that we air here on WTGR that shows our local programming that is produced right here in the station. So just watch this. CTN is excited to present 65 Promises from God for Your Child. Every parent or grandparent who is looking for hope and encouragement, this devotional showcases the 65 specific promises God has given readers for their children. With each new promise, a key scripture is given and followed up by an explanation that will help readers apply the promise. You can receive this important devotional completely free with your donation of $50 or more to CTN. Enjoy life, consider eternity. That is the logo and the theme that we have for CTN WTJR. The scripture we're using again this week is John 10:10. 10, 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. I like that more abundantly there on the end, don't you? Life life. I'm sticking with the meaning, with the fourth meaning we had from the dictionary, vitality, vigor, or energy. Example, 
She was beautiful and full of life. You ever heard that? Someone will say she was full of life. Vigor is physical strength and good health, effort, energy, and enthusiasm. I like that enthusiasm about in life. We can have joy. We can have peace. We can have hope. We can have love in our life. Yes, we can. And that's all through Jesus Christ. That John 10.10, 10, I want to read from the Amplified. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came, Jesus said, that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Till it overflows. Can you imagine in the garden before Adam and Eve fell into sin? God walked in the garden with them. Can you imagine how beautiful it must have been? How wonderful that time with God must have been. And then when Adam and Eve sinned, then they were separated from God. Because God cannot look upon sin. Now, he didn't stop loving Adam and Eve. No, no, no. But he couldn't look upon the sin. So things changed. Life changed. Yes, and we talked a little bit about that. How um, um, Adam and Eve were put out of the garden. And then they had to tend the ground. Yeah. Plant their food. Just things changed. So many things. Today I want to read from Matthew 6. 25 through 34 if I have time here and it says and this is in red letters if you have a red letter bible therefore I say unto you take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than bread food and the body than raiment or clothing Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they, of much more value, the Bible says? Which of you, by taking thought, being worried, can add one cubic unto his statue or growth? And why take you thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? I'm going to go down to 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. There's where you find life, living in freedom every day. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself, Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Yes, life, this world brings bad days, hard days, disappointing days, depressing days. But God came to bring life, and he said more abundantly. More abundantly. Which means we don't have to just sit down there and wallow in that. We can rise above that with Jesus Christ. He is the one that brings that freedom from sin, from worry, from depression, from sickness. Whatever you're going through out there may be battling. Jesus is the answer. He brings life. And he brings his love. Amen? So... I want to encourage you today to choose life in Christ. Amen and amen. We're going to have a prayer break now with Yolanda DeAndrea Morris, president of CTN, and just join her as she prays.
Here at Christian Television Network, we believe in the power of prayer and the power of agreement. According to Matthew 18, 19, and 20, will you take a prayer break with us right now? We want to pray for inner healing. God, I speak to those places in hearts that have open wounds, the things that they have been crying out to be healed, or places that they have pushed aside and buried because it was too painful. God, we give you authority over our hearts, over every broken place. Redeem our hearts today. God, shine your light upon hearts so that healing can break through. Jesus, lead those with brokenness to a place of hearing what you want to say. Give them ears to hear and eyes to see what you are revealing. Give them courage to embrace your healing. Jesus, forgive us for the ways we have mishandled the brokenness. God, you alone are our safe refuge. We give you all the ways we have used false comforts. Draw these things out of hiding and into healing. Jesus, come now and heal the broken hearts and set them free. We welcome your healing. We welcome wholeness. In Jesus' name, amen. If this prayer is for you, continue to let God do his work. Let him continue to take you through the process of healing. Thank you for praying with us. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, we have about two minutes left, so let's go through our local programming for this coming week, starting out with A Woman's Joy. My guest is Sherry McDaniel, and we are continuing the series, The Power of the Blood Covenant, Part 3. And you can watch that on Monday at 5 a.m., Tuesday, 9.30 a.m., and Friday at 7.30 p.m. And then behind the scenes, the program you're watching right now, there's the times you can watch. And we have Christ Video, and that is a half-hour music video program. Tuesdays, 11, at, uh, Tuesdays at 3 p.m., I'm sorry. Friday at 10 p.m. and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. And then we have Conquering Your Giants with Duke Duvall. Living the kind of faith that pleases God. That's the message he has this next week. And if you missed any, any of the uh, previous programs, you can watch them on our YouTube page. Conquering Your Giants airs on Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. and Sunday at 6.30 a.m. Musical Memories, beautiful music of the church every weekend, Saturday and Sunday with Martha Reed Garvin. And we have Outreach Connection this next week. Uh, Sandy's uh, guest will be Evangelist Robert Newton. He's with Powerhouse Ministries, Crusades and Conferences from Winfield, Iowa. You can watch that on Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday at 5 p.m. And on Pastor Speaks this next week is Pastor Eric Kruger from Life Tabernacle in Cahokia, Missouri. And the message is What's Your Worth? Sunday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. The Potter's Wheel with George Osmus on Monday evenings at 8.30 p.m. And then we have The Secret Place with Minister Darlene Holiday on Mondays at 9.45 a.m., Saturday at 3.15 p.m. And, of course, The Simple Truth with John Furness in One Accord, Part 2, a series that he is doing here on WTJR. We want to add, we got some WTJR classics you can watch. Amen. Amen. A lot of wonderful local programming here on WTJR. Well, you have a good week. God bless you. Tell somebody God loves them. Bye-bye.